So what's with you, your grandsons, and the stickers? Just a second. <laughs> what's with it? I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so the, the short form of this is that uh, when the... Uh, when the city council, our Moscow city council, uh, applied a mask mandate, it was totally unnecessary. We were one of the, we were and are one of the most lightly touched regions in the country. Okay, just uh, virtually nothing going on here. And a year into it, you know, virtually very lightly touched by the coronavirus. And I know that there are places that where that's not the case, that people have been uh, hit hard and but, but not here it, it was not here and uh, and yet our city officials uh, applied a mask mandate which was uh, which we protested and thought was unnecessary uh, then when they extend then they extended the mask mandate and when they extended the mask mandate again unnecessarily we uh, our, our church has held psalm sings and hymn sings, Christmas carol sings, uh, out, outdoors for years. We've done this for a long time. Uh, and we've had a couple of psalm sings in Friendship Square, uh, one or two, uh, after the mask mandate. And then when the city council extended the mask mandate, we, um, held, a, we held a psalm sing, a very an abbreviated psalm sing at City Hall, where we, and we had hundreds of people um, show up mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, had a prayer, three psalms and um, then dismissed, then went home. So it was what, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. It was to yeah. simply register our concern. And was that legal? It was entirely and totally legal because the, the, um, ex the, the city ordinance that was requiring masking uh, had certain carve outs and exemptions and religious services were exempt. Mm -hmm. And this was a religious service. As well as political assembly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A political assembly. It, we, it was exempt different ways. Uh, and we were outdoors. Uh, yeah. We were a religious assembly. It was a, um, a right to free. A, a, multiple freedoms were involved. So everything about what we were doing was legal. Mm -hmm. uh, the city had painted dots on the parking lot um, beforehand to tell us how um, far apart to stand, but that was not part of the ordinance. We right. knew, uh, so what, what was being done was legal. So we had this psalm sing that lasted for 15 minutes simply to register our protest. And at this psalm sing, the, the police arrested three of our parishioners, mm -hmm. one married couple and then um, the Bonets and then Gay Branch, who was at that time running for county commissioner. He was the Republican candidate for county commissioner. So they arrested three people and then two people were cited. Mm -hmm. um, so um, in response to that, um, those illegal arrests, which the city acknowledged de facto were illegal months later, because they they had to drop the charges, right. so they they were going to prosecute them for this uh, violation of the ordinance, and they couldn't because they finally read their own law. They, they, they finally <laughs> they, that's the good way to put it. They finally read their own law and realized that it was um, legal what we were doing. Yeah. Um, well, then shortly after that those arrests, um, uh, a decision had been made. Um, uh, my son, Nate, and his business partner, Aaron Wrench, brother to Gabe, the arrested, um, had some stickers made, Soviet Moscow enforced because we care. Mm -hmm. And they gave them to different people and coffee cups and that sort of thing. Well, um, uh, then my two grandsons, uh, sometime during the night on the night in question, uh, were uh, stopped by the police downtown. Um, and what's all this sticker business? And uh, I'll just refer you, refer you to my blog for a statement, the, the press release uh, that was issued to detailing the events of that night. But suffice it to say, the, the boys were stopped. Um, uh, Rory, one of my um, grandsons, was handcuffed, put on the sidewalk. Uh, but they weren't arrested. They, well, they weren't taken away. Yeah. Okay, they were detained and they were questioned. Mm -hmm. They were separated and questioned. 
the policeman called Nate, who came down. They all went home. Then a week later, uh, roughly a week later, um, the there was a they were served saying that this was going to be prosecuted. So uh, the cops that night were clearly not expecting this to be prosecuted. Mm -hmm. uh, but then they were served a week later and they've been including pushing, Nate, including Nate for having printed the sticker for, for aiding and abetting <laughs> by printing for, stickers. For print, uh, <laughs> and the whole thing is beyond ridiculous because in the, uh, in the current form, no, basically nobody has been, uh, this ordinance has been around for a long time. And this ordinance being the ordinance. Uh, oh, the ordinance that they're being prosecuted under um, prohibits putting stickers, uh, commercial stickers on poles uh -huh. and uh, campaign literature. So you can't put vote for Murphy. According to this ordinance, you can't urge people to vote for Murphy and you can't tell people that there's a sale on washers and dryers at Duran mm -hmm. you, you can't do that. But what um, the city is alleging my grandsons did is not prohibited by the ordinance. This, in, a, in other words, it's just like the Psalm saying. Mm -hmm. um, they're, being, they're being prosecuted for something uh, that's not even against the law. And, and so uh, there's been a good deal of to and froing and back and forthing. And uh, this happened months ago. And there's been a, a lot of in the courts. And then it was just, it became public this last week. And you were saying that, that since this ordinance was first passed, prohibiting posting signs, um, how many people have been prosecuted under um, this? Uh, Nate and Sons are the first. So in how many years? Oh, uh, well, I'm not sure if there's been any uh, amendments to the ordinance, but the ordinance um, was first passed in 1950. Okay. And... Uh, and there's been no record of anyone ever being uh, cited uh, uh, under this before, uh, right? Okay. Um, or prosecuted. I think there was record of one person being cautioned. Oh. <laughs> one person being cautioned. But this is the first prosecution, okay. and and they're being charged with 13 counts of stickering. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you've been if you've ever been in a college town and you look at a light pole, uh, Moscow, Idaho's light poles are like this. They're billboards yep. for stickers. Um, so, um, what they're doing is they're 13 counts of stickering, the, these sorts of things. And each one is a misdemeanor, which means that they, the city is threatening them with six, up to six years in jail. Wow. Um, because si each sticker offense is six months. So, uh, the, now I would be flummoxed if the city of Moscow said, yes, we want them, these boys to serve this time. But but I wouldn't be uh, there. I don't think that that's what they want. Mm -hmm. But I do think that that's what they want to threaten, mm -hmm. right? Because they're trying to get something else. They're trying to get something else, mm -hmm. and it's a it's a game of chicken. 